Hi. Welcome to this video highlighting the hyperlink interactivity functionality. In this video, we will create a hyperlink in Jaspersoft Studio report. Add the report in Jasper Reports server. Create a dashboard in Jasper Reports server. Use hyperlink interactivity for text report, table report, chart report, and explore the report viewing options. Let us start by creating a simple Jaspersoft Studio text report with a text field USA. To configure the hyperlink for this text field, in the properties pane at the lower right corner, click hyperlink and select link target as blank and link type as dash let. Click on the ellipsis to add the dataset parameters. Next, click add to add the parameter name and expression. For example, let us provide country as the parameter name and USA as the parameter expression. Then publish the report to Jaspersoft server. Now, let us navigate to Jasper report server to create a dashboard. To do that, at the lower left corner, search the report and drag it on the canvas. Then, at the lower right corner, in the dash let settings, enable hyperlink. You can view the parameters added in the Jaspersoft Studio report. Next, from the repository, open a dashboard and add the text report that you just created. Enable hyperlink. And then map the parameters. Next, at the upper right corner, go to viewing mode to use the hyperlink interactivity functionality. Click USA. The dash lets are updated to reflect the geographical data and sales trend for the USA only. Now, create a hyperlink in the table reports. Open a table report. Enable the hyperlink and set parameters for store state and store type. And then, publish the report to the server. To create a hyperlink in the chart reports, open a chart report. Then from the context menu, click Edit Chart Properties. On the Data Configuration tab, click Edit Hyperlink. Create the hyperlink. Next, configure the parameters. And then publish the report. Navigate to Jasper Reports server to see the hyperlink interactivity. Turn the Enable Hyperlink toggle on and map the parameters to the reports. In the viewing mode, you see the store area data for different store types and different countries. Click Deluxe Supermarket in the table report. The chart report displays the deluxe supermarket area across different countries. Now, let us explore the report viewing options. Go to the editing mode. At the lower right corner, click the action drop down. To use the open new page, provide the URL or repository URI. Add a target resource ID in $p, followed by the source dash let filters to map the parameters. Go to viewing mode. Click Mexico. The details are displayed on a new page. Now, select Replace Page. In the viewing mode, select Jalisco. Click Leave. As you can see, only the details for Jalisco are displayed now. Let's try Replace Dash Let. Go to viewing mode and click on Deluxe Supermarket. Now, the dash let area is replaced with the target resource. For more information, visit our documentation page.
Thank you for watching.